You're going to listen to some music, Karen. There you go. Yep. You remember that song? Their wedding song seems to calm her, seems to reach Karen Walker in that faraway place dementia has taken her. Okay. Mike Walker is willing to try anything to soothe his wife, from music to marijuana. Exactly. You just can't give up on somebody. You got to try whatever, you know, whatever means are out there. I mean, she still gets her outbursts, but not near what it used to be. I know that. Like, it was uh, a lot, a lot more severe there for quite a while. The agitation has improved since Karen started taking 20 milligrams of cannabis oil twice a day. I'm gonna give you your meds, okay? The dose is part of a study looking at how medical marijuana can help improve the quality of life for seniors. Have some milk, Karen. Dealing with issues like chronic pain and cognitive decline. Well, like I say, uh, Mike has seen a difference. When I find her more aware, like before if I took my phone out, she'd grab it and throw it across the floor. Like, I had her holding the phone, like holding the phone with music on it. And then uh, I'd show her pictures of, of uh, her uh, grandkids. And she put a big smile on. Uh, like, she seems more coherent. Do you kiss? Yeah. Families like him, eager to explore the potential benefits of marijuana, prompted the study. It's okay. Go get him one of the comfy seats. Right. The goal, to back anecdotes with evidence. Now, has anyone heard about CBD or cannabidiol? The groundwork to enroll people in the study began last summer with information sessions at dozens of seniors' residences like this one in Ottawa to dispel any stigma. As part of this education is really to demystify what medical cannabis is. In cannabis, there's actually over 120 different cannabinoids. And the CBD actually doesn't cause psychoactivity. It doesn't make you high. And as David Greb evolve, is with Canopy Growth, the weed company providing the marijuana for the study. A lot of seniors struggle with three key areas, pain, mood, and sleep. And the potential for cannabis to, to address a lot of the issues around aging is really the potential biggest population that could see benefit, but it's also a population that hasn't been exposed to a lot of the education around cannabis. Uh, a typical pricing... Greb tells the group the active ingredient in weed can be transformative as in the case of an elderly woman who almost gave up playing the piano. And unfortunately, she got osteoarthritis um, in her hands and she could no longer play piano. So she started using medical cannabis and within about two months, um, she was able to fully start playing piano again. And now she, she stood up and said, I feel like a child again. I can play for hours on end again. And I hear these stories over and over and over. Neva Carmen is that success story. It's been a standing joke in my family. My grandson just thinks it's wonderful. I have to tell all my friends, my 90-year-old grandmother's taken a marijuana. <laughs> her arthritis was so bad, she was ready to give away her piano. When her grandson suggested marijuana, she was skeptical. I'd sit down to the piano and I'd get so mad because I just couldn't stand it, you know. And so I went on the cannabis and I was on it about six weeks and I began to think, hmm, this feels pretty good, you know. Not having the pain I was in and my hands weren't swelling up. Since then, Neva is back at it, playing regularly for her fellow residents and enjoying the moment. It is experimental. We don't, still don't know what it's gonna do to us, but at 90, who cares? <laughs> You know, you can't do any more harm than's already been done. So you're a convert? Definitely, definitely. Well, I think it's exciting. I think it's wonderful to know that there is something that's available to improve this resident's quality of life. And I'm excited at the opportunity for more information so that we can say, yes, this is something we can use, but we need to know how safe and effective it is. Dr. Rhonda Collins works for Rivera Homes, a network of seniors' residences. Collins is identifying people suitable for the trial. She says so far, the results have been mixed. 
personally in my practice, I have seen um, people have amazing responses to cannabis. I've seen people have zero response, and I've also people ha seen people have negative responses. So that's why it's so important to me that rather than have a few scattered stories from across different sites, we have some rather robust evidence. I'm at the end of my book. <laughs> Thank you very much. The evidence is especially critical in such a vulnerable population. There are concerns around how medical marijuana interacts with other medications, how it metabolizes in older people, and potential side effects like dizziness can be especially dangerous for people prone to falling. Okay. Go up here a bit, Karen. For Mike, the last few right. years have been a struggle. He just wants to provide his wife with some comfort. Very good. Ultimately, what do you want from this study? What, do you, what are you hoping for? Uh, that's a question in itself. What are you hoping for? You're hoping for a miracle to have a fix, but I'm not saying no, but you got to try it. Like, uh, and if I can't fix it, at least give her a better quality of life that it, if she can relax. Like I say, it's, that's all you can hope for. <laughs> and right now, he's found that bit of hope. Yeah. And however untested it still is, he's holding on to it. Yeah. Joanna Rumeliotis, CBC News, Mississauga. Okay, so there's a fair amount of research going into answering a great number of questions about cannabis use in older people. But where exactly do we stand now? Can it work? Is it safe? Dr. Samir Sinha, the Director of Geriatrics at Mount Sinai, joining us right now. And, and you have people coming to you asking this very question. Absolutely, yeah. No, many of my patients are now asking about it and saying, could this be a solution for me? And so what do you tell them? Well, uh, you know, it, it depends on what they're looking for because I say to them right now, there isn't a lot of great evidence out there to say that it's actually a great treatment for everything under the sun. There's some mounting evidence saying that it could be helpful, specifically in areas of pain management. Pain is where there's the most promise, you think? There's the, there's the most promise at the moment. But again, w what I found is that of all of my patients who've actually tried this, you know, there are some who have compelling anecdotes, like it helped with those behaviors related to dementia, for example, or it helped with their pain. But I'd say the vast majority of my patients who've tried it have said either it had no benefit whatsoever, hmm. or they actually say that they actually felt a lot of side effects like dizziness and nausea and that doesn't make great news stories about miracles right. but it's actually it's telling us that while there's compelling anecdotes we don't really know exactly in who would it best be useful and so if someone were to come to you though and say look you know I, I'm in pain and, and and I'm not waiting for more research I just want to try it is there a reason that you would dissuade them from doing so? I mean, are there red flags? Well, I mean, you know, for patients who might be on a lot of complicated medications or they might actually have very complex health issues, I might be worried that this could create, where there's a lot of unknowns, more problems, you know, than, than benefits. But, you know, if one of my patients said, I want to try this, what do you think? You know, A, it's not an inexpensive venture to go and right. get a prescription and buy the oils or buy the edibles or whatever the case is. But what I want them to do is work with a professional who knows how to prescribe cannabis mm. um, and can understand what their particular issues are to see if they can find something that might work for them. That's their best chance of potentially getting benefit. But again, we're still, we still need more research right. to figure out where it can be useful. Dr. Sinha, interesting stuff, thanks. Thank you.